You want me to put what? Where? <laughs> I can't even do this. <laughs> what? You want me to put what? Where? Wally, you are sick! Christine Jarvie and many other Conneaut residents are fighting to keep their Kmart location at Gateway Plaza open. Kmart announced they'll close the location in June due to severe roof leaks. The building owner has so far not been able to find the funds to make $400,000 in roof repairs. Hey guys, so we just got done checking out the old Kroger down here on this end. And now, with Richard Wolf, we are over here checking out what used to be the Kmart here in Conneaut. And uh, I don't know when they painted this facade red up here because I've been watching some videos online about this place. I mean, there's only a few of them on there. Wally was here and then uh, another kid, uh, his channel I think is called Fubby Explorers. And um, there was videos from five years ago from like Channel 5 News when this place was going to close down and that facade was white. Residents are hoping the building owner's insurance company will step up its roof repair claim in time to prevent their Kmart from closing its doors forever. To my knowledge, this has been abandoned ever since until it was picked up by this heated storage unit place, whatever it's called. Man, that wind. But at some point, they painted the facade red, and I just, I, I don't get it, because I don't think anything else was in here right after Kmart, but I could be wrong. Yeah, look at this. They even painted these red. They were yellow when it was Kmart. I mean, I wonder if somebody just... I don't know. No scenario really makes sense unless some other business just came and took it over that was using red. But I wasn't aware that anybody ever did. But there's the red facade up there. Used to be a big K. Okay, so this is a storage unit, so I don't want to poke around too much here. Um... Well, let's just try to peek in the window for a minute here. Hopefully all we'll see is a big empty sales floor. Ah, cool. I mean, yeah, there's a few things in there, but look at that. That's the old Kmart. That's the sales floor, guys. Pretty cool. All right, let's try this selfie stick peek. I don't know if you can see anything in there, but... <laughs> <laughs> These look like basically the, uh, I mean, the original doors from when it was Kmart. But this garage door they obviously would have had to put in since it closed. Hmm. And just knowing what uh, the North Canton Kmart looks like, uh, Richard and I were just talking about that, like in comparing the size, because I think this one may even be smaller than the North Canton Kmart. It's the same style, it's just so small. Let's go around the side here, see if they still got a prison yard. Here's a couple doors here. I wish. I mean, it's, it's owned by somebody else right now. I just wish that they were here so we could go in. You take a look around the side. I don't see any other kind of label scars either. Although it does look like maybe they had like a... I don't remember from the pictures online what they would have had up here. But I'm sure it was some kind of canopy or signs or something. Let's go look on the side here. Oh, yeah, there's a, like a fence, chain link fence in there. Locked up good. I guess, yeah, this would have been, I'm walking in what would have been the prison yard. Here's where they would have cut off the things and taken it down. That's a small one, man. It's like, really, usually they come out at least to about here. And you got all that room, but man. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, this is where they would have had the whole the whole fence up. Huh. Ooh, there's a truck back here. I wonder if there's anybody here. It would be so cool to look inside. So we got Richard here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so 
This, guys, is what used to be the service center. The, uh, Penske. The, yeah, Penske Auto Center. And you can still see, like, uh, well, here's steps to go up in there. That door, and I think that door there would go out to the uh, the sales floor. Still got some of the yellow lines for markers for each bay. Yeah. Pretty cool. That was really cool. These guys have a different business back there um, in that garage, but they, you know, let us get a couple shots in there. That was really cool of them. So that's that's their space now, and everything else is leased out to other businesses. So they don't have. This is the old garden center right, right here. Those doors right there lead to the uh, the sales floor. We got this one window here that's we're the able the to window. see through. At the garden center around here. And so this is the company that's in the back there, Handy Dandy Handyman Service. And they, uh, those are the guys that let us get a shot back in the old uh, auto center there. That was really cool of them. But yeah, here's, you can see, uh, this used to be the garden center. You can see they've got like the, the fence up in here, chain link fence. And just that one window you could look through there. Everything in here is storage now. Okay guys, so we're back around the front here, but Look out here, the sign that says heated storage unit, where is it? Am I zooming into it? Yeah, right there. <laughs> I got a glare on my camera. I'll bet you anything that was the old uh, Kmart sign for this store. Alright guys, well I'm going to break out my fork and we're going over to Burger King to eat. I got to take my buns off, my Whoppers. So, <laughs> I'll see you guys later, peace. Peace.